Hey up folks, welcome to Son of Dell's live vlog on this the 30th of December. This is my last vlog of the year, so I've, uh, well, as well as wishing you all a happy new year and hope 2023 brings you all the joys you can possibly hope for. Uh, I've also got a lot of footage today. I've got footage of the dog from before Christmas, which is quite amusing. The wonderful Christmas spread that my wife put out for us for lunch for Christmas as well. I've also got my jigsaw haul, which I had for Christmas, which include 10 1,000 piece jigsaws. I've also done another fantastic jigsaw, which is part of the book club series from Gibson's. And that one is, hang on, I've, I've lost the plot here, don't worry about it, is uh, Charles Dickens. I've also got two TV series reviews to do. One is a six part drama series called Angela Black and the other is a series that ran for 10 series and some Christmas specials and that is Doc Martin. So coming up first, I'm gonna show you a bit of footage of what happened while we were wrapping the presents. Just stand on your mum's hand, she won't mind. I don't need my fingers, don't worry, Jess. Nope, she's enough. She's lovely. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> she's coming back again. She's not. Oh, she is. Yes, she is. Though. You lie down, you're, you're interested, aren't you? What? What? There's always something to eat, glass. Uh... No, you can't eat this. I know, she was gone. I'm going autistic now. That'll make people feel sick. Yeah, <laughs> roller coaster. Okay, I've only got five minutes off the top. You got five minutes full. Lovely Christmas tree. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice. It's a nice picture of Cornwall there. Look. And it's my beautiful wife. Ta da da no. <laughs> Should I stop there? Yes, please. I'll stop there. Oh. <laughs> Big nose on the screen. You're interested. I'm an empty carrier bag, you want. You're interested, is that what it is? You're a womble, aren't you? Yeah. It is interested. You're interested. Nope, she's gone. Oh, she's gone. I think you can catch her better from your side. Leave it there. It's okay. Jess! Yes. 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 <clears throat> now, I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas, because I certainly did. It was quiet. There's only me, my wife, and my mum mother-in-law stroke mum um, and we had a really good time it was fantastic we opened up lots of presents we had a really nice food we watched some good television we had some good laughs and in between Christmas and New Year we haven't really done a lot I've done a bit of reading I'm halfway through my son of Dell's uh, son of Dell's son of Dell's I'm up on promoting myself the 12 Dell's of Christmas by David Jason and that's uh, that's turning into quite an interesting read uh, here's some pictures, I'll just quickly show you pictures now, you can look at this, this is the spread that my wife put out for Christmas Day dinner, as you can see, it looked magnificent and trust me, it tasted as good as it looked, but my wife is one, you know, she's one hell of a cook, she really is, and um, she's got loads and loads of recipe books, but she loves tweaking recipes, you know, she'll take something with, so, like, 15 ingredients and add her own twist to it, she'll put different things, take things out, because she knows I've got a ginger um, I can't have anything with ginger in it um, it could literally shut me down so I've got to be really careful where ginger's concerned so my wife literally makes all these different sweet recipes and stuff and changes ginger for something else usually cinnamon or nutmeg or something like that you know some some so much she changes it for but yeah like I said we had a great Christmas in the evening we watched the call the midwife Christmas special and strictly come dancing now I'm not usually a strictly come dancing fan except at Christmas because it's part of what you, what, what you do at Christmas, you tend to watch stuff that you wouldn't normally watch throughout the year. I don't lower myself to soaps, I'm sorry, but I can't. I can't sit there watching depressing soap operas on Christmas Day and, you know, murders, divorces and, and all sorts of stuff. I can't watch that, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't associate that with Christmas. 
Um, they're called the midwife. Usually when they do the Christmas special, there'll be something quite sad in it, but it will have an uplifting ending and that's what happened this year. Uh, the Strictly Come Dancing, it was okay, you know, it was just a bit of entertainment to pass an hour and a half. Uh, but other than that, we've basically been watching different TV series. Um, we've finished off, finally, me and Deb have finished series 10 of Doc Martin and coming up in a minute, I've got a review of Doc Martin and also a review of a brilliant six part drama that was on in October 21 and we'd only just got around to watching it called Angela Black. Now, Doc Martin. Uh, Doc Martin is a brilliant ITV drama comedy series, and it stars the brilliant Martin Clunes and Carolyn Katz. And at the start of it, you find that this doctor called uh, Doctor Ellingham. Um, he basically is a big, a big surgeon. He is really a big surgeon. He does all these massive operations and stuff. But one day, he realizes that he has an allergy to blood, and not just an allergy to it. He literally makes him sick. He can't look at blood without literally throwing up. And obviously this is a bit of a setback for a surgeon. <clears throat> so he relocates to a little Cornish town and he basically becomes the local doctor. Now he is very stern, very abrupt, but he is a fantastic doctor. He literally can spot things most GPs wouldn't spot in a mile off. Enter into this Carolyn Katz, who is basically a teacher at the local school. She falls for him. He kind of, in a strange ass way, falls for her. It's all very, very complicated and stuff, but there is a lot of kooky characters in it. There's a lot of good stories in it. There's a lot of very famous actors and actresses make bit parts, uh, bit part appearances in it. And I would definitely give it nine out of 10 because it has been the mainstay for the last 10 years. I've watched it since it started. Me and my wife have watched it all the way through. And we finally watched season 10, which was on earlier this year. And the Christmas special from this year was the last ever episode. And to be honest with you, it ended only how it could end. And I won't say any more than that because I'll spoil it. But they get up to everything. Pitfalls all over the place. Weddings cancelled. People choke. You name it, it's in this. And there are some really kooky characters in it. Some will make you laugh. Some will make you cringe. But it's really, really good. And it's probably one of the best ITV dramas I've seen for a long time. It's probably since Darling Buds and May, actually. Uh, the very, very brilliant one with David Jason and Pam Ferris from the 90s stroke 2000s. <clears throat> but yeah, I would give it 9 out of 10. Martin Clunes, it's weird seeing him because the only other series really that I've watched him in was a series called Men Behaving Badly. And of course, that's a comedy series um, that he starred with Neil Morrissey, Leslie Ash and Carolyn Quentin. And the character that he played in that is just this, this kooky sort of 35 year old bloke who's basically lager 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 and doing all man's you know lad stuff and all that we're all drunk and all this sort of stuff and in this he's totally different the character he plays is literally so down to earth but he's really abrupt he never smiles he doesn't say thank you that often at all now also into this mix you've got a um like i said in it, you've got some kooky characters you've got joe absalom playing this uh, lad called al whose dad and him get up to scrapes and all business ventures. They're a bit like Del Trotter and Rodney. They're a bit like that, only the father and son. Um, but you've also got a receptionist that literally he doesn't treat very well and oh, some fantastic, brilliant characters. You've got a chemist who falls in love with the doctor and becomes obsessed with him. And I mean obsessed, she's called Mrs. Tishel and she comes obsessed with him. She really does. But it's a fantastic watch and I'd recommend it to anybody. It's nine out of 10 and it's the brilliant Doc Martin. Now, while we were looking for Doc Martin the other day, um, we found that ITVX wasn't working properly when we'd watched four episodes of season 10, so we were a bit stuck. So I went through the Virgin Media box, uh, and it's got programmes on that we've taped over the last literally about 18 months. And we came across a series called Angela Black, and we thought, we'll give it a bash, just one episode, see how it goes. We watched it in two nights, it was that good. Um, Angela Black is basically about a woman who's married, and she's got two kids and her husband he likes to use his fists he likes to be a bit of a punch man and then he's always pretending that he didn't mean it blah 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 now this is your standard sort of story but but it gets better because enter into this another guy 
who basically says he knows what she's going through and he can help her to sort it out. And this starts off a psychological mind game between the three characters, which is the woman, her husband, and this other guy. And it's got more twists than the M6. Uh, sorry, more twists than Spaghetti Junction. It's not straight like the M6, trust me. It is all over the place. And you're guessing as to what's going to happen, who's going to come out on top, you know, who's, who, who's actually guilty and who's innocent. And that's what's brilliant about it. Now, the funny thing is, we taped all six parts. We thought uh, it was in October 2021 it started taping. And we were watching it, and we watched four episodes, and we decided to watch the fifth one. But when we put it on, it comes up with previously, and it shows you what happened in the last episode. And we were thinking, hang on a minute. That didn't happen. We didn't see that. And when I went on to the box, the strangest thing is it had taped parts one, two, three, four, and six. It hadn't taped part five. And I went through all my deleted programs and films just to see, because it could have been, you know, in with that lot, but it wasn't. So it had taped one, two, three, four, and six. And we still can't figure it out to this day how we managed to do it. But if you want to watch a really, really good thriller, if you were giving it out to 10 again, I'd give it 9 because the story's good, the characters are brilliant, the acting's really good, and the, the way it all pans out and how it ends is fantastic. It really is. It was a really, really good six-part drama, and it's called Angela Black. So if you get a chance to watch it, it's another 9 out of 10 thumbs up from me. Righty righty, coming up is, oh well, me app going on straight to be nice. Uh, coming up, I've got my jigsaw gallery and my jigsaw haul from Christmas, which includes 10 1,000 piece jigsaws, which literally cover almost every subject you can think of from Marvel all the way to Christmas jigsaws. So you check this out, enjoy. I will say now, because I'm not going to come back on again, you enjoy your new year. I am so hoping that it brings you everything you desire, like I said earlier. Um, I'm, I'm, we're having a nice quiet one. We'll probably sit and watch the, uh, light, the fireworks, the fireworks um, on New Year's Eve on BBC One late. And it's got Sam Ryder doing the concert. And my wife loves Sam Ryder, so that'll be something we'll be listening to. I don't mind him, but my mother-in-law refers to him as in with the tonsils, which I think is absolutely hilarious. I've never heard anybody describe like that, but it's quite funny. So you all take care. Thank you for all your support in 2022 and hope it continues in 2023. I'll be doing a hell of a lot more vlogs, trust me. I've got Lego builds, which I'm going to be doing stop motion. I've got lots of jigsaws to come. I will be definitely finishing my book next year. I'll be doing book reviews, TV reviews, music reviews, and anything else I can do. And occasionally, just for my sister, I'll chuck in a quiz. But you all take care. Thank you so much for your support. I love you all. Go, go 2023.